Eastern Poland near the Belarusian border. These aid workers are rushing to help a group of Syrians who've made it out of the restricted zone. Uh, how are you feeling? So cold. You are so cold. Uh, do you have food or water? You need one? No. Okay. There are six adults and one child. They say they've been sent back repeatedly by Polish border guards. We try to get back to our country because they know, you know, you know I, I, I couldn't cross the border. When I try to go back to Minsk, the Belarus army, they catch us. And some of us, some of us I know, they, they hit them. Could you tell us more about how it looked like, uh, where they caught you, what they did on the Polish side? Okay, the, uh, there's nine times I tried to cross the border. The Some border. of it. The group doesn't want to be seen. Piotr takes down their details, just in case. Like if the police just we, we ask, we, we just call you, right? Uh, yes, you can call us. Mm -hmm. Most migrants who arrive in Europe are sent back as soon as they get there. These Syrians aren't planning on asking for asylum in Poland. Instead, they want to make it through the forest, despite the hunger and the cold. These extreme conditions have already led to the death of a dozen people on the border with Belarus. Gairan, a 25-year-old Iraqi Kurd, was among the unlucky ones. His body has just been returned to his family, who are still in shock. He hadn't eaten for five days. He was diabetic, but didn't have his medicine. The border guards knew he was sick. The Polish guards ignored his pleas. They sent his body back across the border to Belarus, causing immense pain and anger. But there are many Kurds who still want to leave to flee the economic crisis and the drift toward authoritarianism. Sheko, just 22, is one of them. I'm fine now. This sweater is very warm. It'll be great for the trip. I also have socks and a charger. He got his Belarusian visa just a few days ago thanks to a contact on Telegram. He was charged $5,000 for the flight and five nights at a hotel. There are help groups. You can ask whatever you want. Just type the question and someone will send you a private message. The trip has gotten much more complicated in recent days after Turkey barred Iraqis from boarding flights to Minsk, but Sheko is still hoping he can find another option to keep his European dream alive.